That ends part three of the history of 125 Main Street. We hope you've enjoyed it. Next week will be part four, From Bricks to Buildings, in our program, Elroy, The Last 165 Years. Thanks go out to the Elroy Area Chamber, Elroy Public Library, and Elroy Historical Society for making this program possible. Thank you. As many of the buildings are over 100 years old downtown, many have changed their purpose multiple times over the years, including Garvin's Mobile Gas. But one building has stayed the same since 1937, the Elroy Theater, which was built using the bricks that once lined Main Street. That's right, this photo taken in 1920, the car sits on the very bricks that will be the Elroy Theater, which is the building that's going to be built in 17 years from this point, just to the right of the building that is at the windshield. Current day, Kaz's Bar. Here, 50 years later from the previous photo, is the 1970s downtown Elroy, complete with pedal pushers. Most of the buildings on Main Street's northeast side have seen few extreme changes, though the facades have changed over the years. Here it is, the view in the early 1990s. Back to the view almost 110 years ago. This is one of the last full street photos that we have of the northern side of Main Street. Now that you're so educated, I'm sure on the right hand side, you notice Grimshaw's hardware once stood and on the right hand side will be 142 Main. Pay attention to that building. We know that one of the many theaters in Elroy was housed in this building from the early 1919, we believe, until it became the Elroy Theater in the 1930s and the new manager decided to build a larger building, the one we talked about before but 142 has seen many changes over the years. This being the earliest photo that we have of that property, we know that even though it was the big store on the main level, in that lower left-hand corner, you will see an entrance to the basement level, which housed a number of businesses, including a post office and one of the first banks called the Bank of Reserve, run by Edmund Hart. Edmund decided to build a new store at 205 Main to house the original Bank of Elroy. Later, this building turned into Newman's Feed Store. In the early 80s, the feed store was tore down and a new bank was built. In 1991, that bank became Royal Bank of Elroy. Here is a view in 1942 looking up the street towards the library. Newman's building is on the right hand side and Hamburg Hardware on the left. This is the 200 block of Main Street. On the same day, looking the other direction from 271 on the corner, Looking towards the Elroy Theater, you will notice on the left-hand side a number of buildings which are no longer standing. Currently, this is a parking lot for Royal Bank. Time out. I almost forgot to talk about 119 Main Street. In 1880s, this building was owned by the Moe family. They operated a general store and travel agency that assisted Norwegian families in establishing work and residency in the area. The most famous person to walk through their doors was in 1882, though he wasn't famous then. He was just a young six foot three man looking for work. His name was Newt Hompson. 
He stayed in the area for over a year and references Elroy often in his books from his homeland of Norway. He won the Nobel Prize in 1920 for the book Growth of Soil. That ends part four from bricks to buildings. We will be installing part five, which is beyond downtown in the next week. A uh, special thanks go out to the Elroy Area Chamber, Elroy Public Library, and Elroy Historical Society for making this program happen. Thank you.